I want to show you how you can calculate the future value for multiple cash flows on an HP 10B2 Plus calculator. Now it turns out that it's really easy to do because there's a function or a trick to being able to calculate the future value, but you actually have to read through the manual to figure it out. There's no function key on the calculator that shows you how to do this. So if you're trying to calculate the future value of a series of cash flows, what do you do? You calculate the um, future value of each individual cash flow and you add them up. So if the cash flows begin in year one, you would compound this out for t minus one periods. Remember, you're starting in time period one, not time period zero. So when you count it out, it's going to be t minus one periods. Likewise, with the cash flow in year two, that's going to grow for t minus two periods. And the last cash flow in time period t is going to grow by t minus t periods, which is um, zero, and anything raised to the zero power gives you um, a one. So it's just the value of the cash flow. The cash flow is already in the correct time period, so you don't compound it at all. So how do you do that? Suppose we have this example. You have a hundred dollar cash flow in year one, two hundred in year two, three hundred in year three, and four hundred in year four. What's the value in year four? Well, the first cash flow grows for three time periods, the second for two, etc. We simply find the future value of each and we add them up and we get a value of one thousand one hundred and five dollars and ten cents. Now, you know, this is, you know, not too big a deal because you only have four cash flows and the last cash flow, you don't even have to find the future value. So it's not too big a deal. But if you had 10 cash flows or 15 or 20, it would be quite tedious to compute each one of these. So what you'd like to do is use the cash flow worksheet. And all of the financial calculators have the financial worksheet. And they allow you to put in a bunch of cash flows, but depending on the calculator, they don't always compute the future value, but they can always compute the present value. And the reason for that is we use the present value of a series of cash flows all the time in finance. Uh, to compute things like net present value. So what do you do? You take advantage of this and you calculate the present value of these. You use the um, net present value function which will find the present value of all of these cash flows. The net means it'll subtract out whatever you put in year zero if you put it in as a negative value. So if we put nothing in or zero in for the first or for the year zero cash flow, we're just getting the present value of these cash flows. Now, again, in other financial calculators, you have to do um, you have to do something else, which is you have to find the future value of these uh, of this present value of this lump sum. You don't actually have to do that this in the um, H, this version of the HP calculator. So let's take a look at an example here. So we have cash flows of 100 in year one, 200 in year two, 300 in year three, and 400 in year four, and an interest rate of um, 10%. So let me call up my calculator here. And so how do you put this in? Actually, let me make this uh, larger so you can see this a little better. I'll cut off the bottom a bit, but that's probably not a problem. So here, if you hit this key here, this uh, um, sort of rust colored function key, and you can't see it too well, but above this, under the C is clear all. So it's gonna clear everything here. So how do you put these numbers in? Actually, I do have to make it smaller so that I can, I can see my zero, so I can type it in. So the first cash flow is zero, and up here it says CFJ. So I'm gonna put the first cash flow in at zero, 
the second cash flow, or I'm sorry, the year one cash flow in is 100. And again, it tells you that was the uh, you, you know cash flow one, 200. I hit this function again, cash flow two. Um, cash flow three is going to be 300. And cash flow four is going to be 400. I put in the interest rate which is 10% so up here I slash YR so the interest rate is in and then I want to compute in here let me make the skin larger now so that you can see under this PRC um, key says NPV so again if we hit the function key we hit NPV we get the net present value of 754 80. Now, in other calculators, I would say you simply then want to find the future value of this, right? And you could do that. Remember, you have the value of this in year zero. You simply would multiply by one plus the interest rate raised to the teeth power, in this case, 1.10 to the fourth power. It turns out that this calculator actually will do this for you you don't see anything here that says net future value, which is what it's called, but you can call it up by simply hitting this, again, function key and the swap, and there you get $1,105.10. So really easy to do if you know the trick, but if you haven't read the, um, the manual, you probably wouldn't be aware of that or wouldn't even know it existed. So I hope you find this uh, helpful, and um, it's a nice little trick if you're doing some calculations on an exam.